talk about getting a jump start on Mother Nature in Zones 4 and 5, and that's starting seeds inside. And I'm with Richard Duran from ISU. And Richard, is it hard to do? Actually, it's fairly easy if you have some basic supplies. You're going to need some high-quality seed. Uh, you'll need a potting mix or germination medium, uh, some containers, uh, and also maybe some lights for it to, to grow the actual seedlings. As far as buying the seeds, you can buy the seeds locally at a garden center or through a catalog. As far as a germination medium, uh, something like uh, Jiffy Mix or Ready Earth, uh, they're specifically for st uh, starting seeds indoors and are very good. As far as containers, you can use flats, trays, pots, peat pellets. If you're using something that has been used previously, go ahead and wash that in a soapy water solution and then disinfect that in a dilute bleach solution. Uh, once the ceilings come up, they're going to need plenty of light. We can put those in a sunny window, but you also may want to use like a fluorescent light fixture, just an ordinary shop fixture that has two 40-watt tubes in it. And position the actual light fixture so the lights are about four to six inches above the plants. If you have a timer, you can actually plug that into the timer and have it on for basically 12 to 14 hours per day. Now, before you plant these, you probably should go ahead and harden them off outside. So initially put them in a shady, protected location, maybe on the north side of a building, and then gradually expose the seedlings to some sunlight. Okay. Now, what's the time, timing for the whole process? It kind of depends upon the crop. If you have something like geraniums, uh, 12 to 16 weeks, tomatoes, six weeks. Okay. And hopefully you'll see results much quicker. Right. All right. Thanks, Richard. And if you'd like more information on seed germination, be sure to log on to our website. For Gardening in the Zone, I'm Liz Gelman.